Do you want free money on RuneScape? Because all profits from these videos will be going back to one of you guys. Want to know how you can enter? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and comment your RuneScape username down below. Now let's get into today's video. Welcome back to testing old school RuneScape money making methods. Feel free to leave any suggestions in the comment section down below for what you'd like me to do next on the channel. If you would like, you can browse all other money making methods I've tried here on the channel by clicking on my playlist either at the end of this video or in the description box down below. Welcome to Season 5 of Test No Osiris Wiki Money Making Methods and today's money maker is going to be Catching Monkfish and they was released to the game on the 2nd of May 2006. If you guys want you can join my CC for the latest updates and to know when new videos go live just like this one you are watching right now. The requirements you will need to be able to do this method are the following. The first requirement is a quest requirement and you will need to have completed the Swan Song quest. This is so you have access to the Piscatari fishing colony as this is the location we will be catching these monkfish in today's video. Secondly, you will want to have at least a level 62 in the fishing skill as this is the, the level requirement to be able to catch a monkfish. Uh, but bear in mind the higher your fishing level is the uh, better chance you will have to catch a monkfish. And finally, the last set of requirements are recommended. The first one for you guys is to have a full angler's outfit, as this will give you more experience when you catch a monkfish. If you guys do not have this outfit, I have actually done a quick guide in the past, but I will link that down below in the description box. My second requirement for you guys is to have a rider's blessing, as this will give you a slight chance of catching a additional fish every time you successfully catch a monkfish. My gear setup is on screen and I will just run through it now. For today's video I have the full set of anglers. I do not have the Radar's Blessing but I would recommend for you guys to bring one if you have one as this will give you a slight chance of catching an extra fish. I've gone with the Fletching Cape but you guys can wear any cape. You guys can actually wear anything else in your armor slots as long as you have the angler's outfit. And for my inventory I will not put it on screen in today's video because all we have is a small fishing net as this is required to be able to catch the monkfish. But now let's jump into some information about this method. Monkfish are fish that can be caught with a fishing level of at least 62. This will grant the player 120 fishing experience per fish they catch. Players can do this by fishing at the Piscatoris fishing colony with a small fishing net. However, the colony may only be accessed upon completion of the Swan Son quest. Monkfish give 10 more fishing experience per catch than what sharks do and they're caught much faster and as well as they can be fished at a lower fishing level than sharks so this makes monkfish a very efficient way of leveling up your fishing and with there being a bank very close by you can make some decent cash while leveling up your fishing by doing this method however the only downside is um, sharks are more valuable and give more cooking experience although that does not matter if you don't plan on cooking your monkfish anyway and just plan on selling them players can expect to catch between 205 and 375 monkfish per hour but this depends on your fishing level so for your hourly profit it will be somewhere between 51,250 and 93,750 gp but once again this will depend on your fishing level but with this now all being said let's jump in over to the final price check so we can see how many monkfish we've managed to catch in this one hour and see how much money we'll be giving away in today's video welcome to the final price check of catching monkfish here in my inventory is all the monkfish we've managed to catch. We managed to catch 305 monkfish over this one hour. So let's just go ahead and price check this. So the price from one hour of catching monkfish comes out to be 76,250 GP. Now let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see who will be taking away today's profits. Hello and welcome to the spinning wheel. We currently have 29 entries, so we have five new entries from the previous video. The first new entry is Mr. Beast underscore BR. The second new entry is Dope Crocs. The third new entry is D2P. Fourth new entry is Mape Luvi. And the fifth and final new entry is Mawa Juano. Today's one of all profits is going to be. Congratulations to KOK -Okay Magic. You are today's one of all profits. But now let's jump on over to the Moneymaker leaderboard so we can see where this Moneymaker ranks. Welcome to the Moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard, I ranked the Moneymakers after I tried them and I split it into four columns. 
The first column is for the method I was using. The second column is for the money this method has earned me. Column three is for the order they rank in compared to the order they was released in. And column four is for difficulty. Because after I tried each method, I'll rank it. If it is hard to do, then I'll rank it as red hard. If it's easy to do, then I'll rank it as green easy. And if it is somewhere in between, like some of these methods are, then I'll rank it as yellow medium. This is for my medium tier. So now we're all caught up. Today's money maker was catching monkfish. And this net us a profit of 76,250 GP. This was seen in episode 11 on season five. So we have five episodes left. Um, I ranked it as medium. And I bet a lot of you guys are thinking like, why the hell would you rank this as medium? All you do is catch the fish, bank them and rinse and repeat. And that would be correct. I know a lot of people don't really enjoy doing quests. So that is one reason I ranked it as medium. The second reason is I would recommend for you guys to have the Radar's Blessing and also the Angler's Outfit. The Radar's Blessing is probably the easiest one to uh, get because all you have to do is complete some achievement diaries in the Kebos and Karend region, I'm pretty sure. And the harder bit is the Angler's Outfit as this will take a fairly long time to obtain. So that is why I ranked it as medium to do. If you didn't really want any of them, then yeah, you could put it as easy easy to do i hope you guys have all enjoyed this money maker if you have enjoyed please like comment subscribe it really will help this channel grow uh comment down below some money making suggestions and if i use your suggestion you'll win yourself all the profit from that video plus 200k on top of that for just suggesting the video but i hope you guys have all enjoyed like i said i've been ben and i will see you in the next money maker goodbye